In the vast silent theatre of space, a new actor has just taken the stage. It's travelled for millions, maybe even billions of years. A messenger from an unknown star system that has finally crossed into our own. It's only the third interstellar object humanity has ever spotted, making it almost unimaginably rare. But this isn't just any cosmic vagabond. This object, named 3 I Atlas, is behaving in ways that defy our neatest explanations. It's hurtling through our solar system on a path that some have called statistically improbable, almost deliberate. And there are strange questions about its brightness, leading to some truly wild theories. This collection of bizarre characteristics has forced a profound and unsettling question into the heart of astronomy. A question championed by leading astrophysicists at places like Harvard University. Are we witnessing the passage of a uniquely strange natural comet? Or are we seeing something else entirely? Something that some argue might just be intelligently controlled. The story of 3 I Atlas is more than a scientific curiosity. It's a cosmic mystery unfolding in real time, challenging our understanding of the universe and our place in it. On July 1st, 2025, a robotic eye in the remote arid landscape of Chile opened to the sky and saw something new. The asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, is our planet's sentinel, scanning the heavens for rocks on a collision course with Earth. On this night, it flagged a faint point of light moving with purpose. Logged as a 11PL3Z, it didn't take long for astronomers to realise this was no ordinary asteroid. The object was moving incredibly fast. As observatories around the world turned their attention to it, astronomers scoured archival data and found pre-discovery images dating back to June 14th, which helped them nail down its journey. The conclusion was immediate and electrifying. This object was not from around here. Everything that belongs to our cosmic neighbourhood, from Jupiter to the smallest asteroid, is gravitationally locked to our sun. They travel in closed loops, but this object was different. Its trajectory was a hyperbola, an open-ended path. It was a tourist, not a resident. Its velocity was so immense that the sun's gravity could bend its path, but never capture it. It fell out of the interstellar dark, and after it swings past our star, it will be flung back into the void, never to return. The Minor Planet Center, the global body responsible for these things, confirmed its interstellar nature in the days following its discovery. It was officially named 3I Atlas, the 3I signifying it's only the third interstellar object ever confirmed. The first was the legendary 1I slash Oumuamua in 2017, a bizarre cigar-shaped object that tumbled and accelerated in ways we still can't fully explain. The second was 2I slash Borisov in 2019, a much more familiar looking comet that gave us our first chemical glimpse of another star system. And now we have a third. Astronomers initially categorized 3I Atlas as a comet, noting a fuzzy coma, the cloud of gas and dust that forms when ice vaporizes in the sun. But as the data kept pouring in, it became clear this visitor wasn't going to give up its secrets easily. The initial excitement soon gave way to a deepening sense of bewilderment. The simple label of comet was beginning to feel profoundly inadequate. The real story of 3i Atlas begins with the slow realisation that it might be breaking the rules. One by one, observations have led to interpretations and theories that are not just unusual, but in some cases, completely unprecedented. To be a cosmic detective on this case, we have to examine each piece of bizarre evidence being presented. The first clue that has some scientists scratching their heads is the object's path itself. Interstellar objects should, by all statistical logic, arrive from random directions. Yet, 3i Atlas appears to be doing something strange. Its trajectory is aligned with almost unnerving precision with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk where all our planets orbit the sun. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, a central and controversial figure in this drama, calculated the odds. He states that only about one in 500 random objects would align so closely with our solar system's layout. 
But he didn't stop there. He argues the path of 3i at Atlas isn't just aligned. It's set for what looks like a grand tour. Its trajectory carries it toward suspiciously convenient close approaches to several key planets. On October 3rd, 2025, it's projected to pass about 29 million kilometers from Mars. Then on November 3rd, it will fly by Venus. And on March 16th, 2026, it will make a pass by the colossal gravitational well of Jupiter. Loeb calculates the probability of a random interstellar object making such a series of close planetary flybys as a staggering one in 20,000. To the skeptical mind, this is just a coincidence. The universe is huge and improbable things are bound to happen, but to a mind open to other possibilities, a different interpretation emerges. Is this path truly random or does it look more like a planned trajectory? The path itself is the first anomaly that forces us to ask, are we looking at luck or are we looking at something else? The second anomaly is what truly sets 3i Atlas apart in the minds of a few researchers and it's a feature even conservative astronomers might call bizarre if it's ever confirmed. The debate revolves around its light. When a typical comet approaches the sun, ice turns directly into gas, releasing dust and creating a coma. The solar wind then pushes this material away, creating the iconic tail that always points away from the star. It's a fundamental law of cometary physics. Here's where it gets weird. Based on an analysis of its brightness, some scientists have proposed a startling alternative to a normal coma. They argue that the light profile isn't consistent with just sunlight reflecting off a dust cloud. This has led to the highly speculative hypothesis that 3i Atlas might have a forward-facing glow, a kind of teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust pointing in the direction of its motion. As of now, there is no published Hubble data that directly confirms this visual feature, but the hypothesis stems from a peculiar analysis of its brightness. This brings us to the third and most provocative proposed anomaly. What if the glow isn't just reflected sunlight? What if 3i Atlas is generating its own light? This is the conclusion Avi Loeb and his colleague Eric Keto reached after analysing that brightness profile. They argue the observed pattern is far more consistent with a model where a central light source within the object is illuminating a dust cloud from the inside out. Their math suggests the combination of outflowing dust density and light from a central source could perfectly explain the steep drop off in brightness they observed. If this hypothesis were true, it would change everything. For one, the object could be much smaller than the initial estimates of up to 20 kilometers. If it's producing its own light, it doesn't need to be as big to appear as bright. A smaller object is also statistically far more likely to be ejected from a distant star system. But this raises the ultimate question. If it's generating its own light, how? What natural process could do that? Loeb considered rare radioactive materials or friction, but dismissed them as highly unlikely. After dismissing these natural explanations as improbable, one possibility remained on the table for him. As Loeb himself wrote, 3i Atlas could be a spacecraft powered by nuclear energy. This cannot be ruled out, but requires better evidence to be viable. The idea is staggering. The glow isn't a natural comet but perhaps the exhaust or waste heat from a functioning piece of technology. It's a hypothesis that sits on the very edge of science fiction, yet one that, according to a leading Harvard physicist, is an interpretation consistent with some of the data. Science at its core is sceptical. Before we leap to extraordinary conclusions, we have to exhaust all the ordinary ones. And while the alien hypothesis is thrilling, the vast majority of the scientific community believes the truth is likely to be found closer to home, even if it requires us to stretch our definition of natural. The leading mainstream explanation is that 3i Atlas is in fact a comet, just a very, very weird one. The planetary systems that form around other stars could have wildly different chemistries than ours, so it stands to reason their comets would be made of different stuff. Perhaps it's a nitrogen iceberg, a chunk of frozen nitrogen chipped off a Pluto-like exoplanet. Nitrogen turns to gas at much colder temperatures than water, which could explain its activity so far from the sun. Or maybe it's an even more exotic hydrogen iceberg. 
The strange brightness could also have a more mundane explanation. The object could be spinning in a way that a single, highly active jet is constantly pointed toward us. Imagine a spinning steam kettle with its spout aimed right at you. It would create a focused cloud of vapour that might look like a halo from our perspective. From this view, the glow isn't from an engine. It's from a very focused geological feature. Another compelling natural explanation is that 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all, but a chunk of an ancient alien seabed. A recent study proposed that the object could be a fragment from an exoplanet sedimentary basin blasted into space by a massive asteroid impact long ago. A rocky fragment like this would be far more durable than a fluffy comet. Its unique mineral composition could react to solar radiation in unexpected ways, explaining its strange brightness. Adding weight to the natural origin story, a recent analysis co-authored by Avi Loeb himself traced the object's path backward. They determined it likely came from the Milky Way's thick disk, an area populated by older stars with different chemical makeups than our sun. This strongly supports the idea that 3i Atlas is from a different and much older environment, which could naturally explain why it looks and acts so strangely. An ancient piece of an ancient world isn't going to look like the comets from our own backyard. In the end, Occam's razor looms large, which is simpler, a nuclear powered alien spacecraft or a natural object from an alien star system whose composition is new to us. For most astronomers, the answer is clear. 3i Atlas is an incredible opportunity to study the diversity of the cosmos. It's not alien, it's just new. So we have a cosmic puzzle with pieces that don't quite fit. On one hand, a natural comet from an ancient star system. On the other, a hypothesis that stretches the limits of imagination. The debate is one of the most exciting in science right now, and it's far from over. If you're finding this cosmic detective story as fascinating as I do, consider subscribing because we'll be tracking every new discovery about 3i Atlas as it happens. Now let's fully explore the most controversial theory of all. This is where the story goes from scientific journals to civilization level questions. The alien hypothesis isn't a fringe conspiracy theory. It's a possibility being actively published and debated by a tenured professor of science at Harvard University. To understand it, we have to understand the man driving it. Professor Avi Loeb made global headlines in 2017 when he proposed that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, might have been an alien solar sail because of how it accelerated. His stance has made him a controversial figure. Many of his peers believe he jumps to sensational conclusions too quickly. Astronomer Jason Wright, for instance, has publicly argued that Loeb's analysis of 3i Atlas brightness is based on a misreading of the data and that there's no need to invoke a self-luminous source. Loeb, however, argues that he is simply following the evidence where it leads. He believes the scientific community suffers from a failure of imagination, a taboo against seriously considering extraterrestrial technology. For Loeb, 3i Atlas is Oumuamua 2.0, another object that doesn't fit comfortably in our catalogues of natural phenomena. Let's break down the alien hypothesis as Loeb might see it. It's a chain of reasoning where each anomaly is reinterpreted as a potential design feature. First, the trajectory. That one in 20,000 statistical improbability isn't a coincidence. It's a deliberately chosen flight path, optimized for a flyby survey of our solar system's most interesting planets. Second, the glow. The theorized forward-facing light isn't a cometary jet. It's the signature of a propulsion system or power source. The spacecraft powered by nuclear energy idea provides a tidy explanation. The dust isn't from sublimating ice, but interstellar grime being burned off the hull of a craft that's been traveling for eons. Third, the lack of a prominent tail. This is no longer a puzzle. An artificial craft would have no reason to spew debris like a dirty snowball. When you assemble these pieces, a speculative picture emerges, an old advanced autonomous probe on a mission. Its path was pre-calculated. Its nuclear power source generates the mysterious glow. The idea has even been floated that it could be a mothership designed to deploy smaller probes. 
This leads us to the darker implications. If it is a probe, what is its intent? Here, Loeb invokes the dark forest hypothesis, a concept from science fiction. The theory suggests the universe is a dark forest filled with silent hunters. The safest survival strategy is to remain hidden and eliminate any other civilization you find. In this grim scenario, a probe like 3 I Atlas might be a scout assessing our technological level. It's a deeply speculative theory, but one that transforms a collection of oddities into the logical features of an engineered object. We stand at a fascinating crossroads. We have a visitor from another star, an object of immense scientific value, no matter what it is. On one path is the explanation of nature. This path suggests 3i Atlas is an exotic comet or planetary fragment whose unfamiliar chemistry is rewriting our textbooks. It's a messenger telling us the universe is more diverse than we ever imagined. On the other path is the hypothesis of technology. This path suggests the improbable trajectory and strange brightness are evidence of design. It's a messenger that tells us we are not alone. The scientific consensus, for now, rests firmly on a natural origin. The burden of proof for the alien hypothesis is immense, and it has not been met, yet the questions remain. The climax of this story is not yet written. In late 2025 and early 2026, 3i at last will make its closest approaches to Mars and Jupiter. It's been proposed that spacecraft we already have there, like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Juno, could try to capture images. Those observations could be the key that unlocks the mystery. They could reveal the definitive signs of a natural comet, or they could reveal something else entirely. Until then, we are in a state of a long vigil. We watch, we wait, and we wonder. 3i Atlas continues its silent journey through our home, a stark reminder of the vast, unknown cosmos that surrounds us. Whether it's a rock or a starship, its passage is a gift, forcing us to confront the biggest questions we can ask. What is our place in the universe, and are we the only ones asking? What do you believe is the true nature of 3i Atlas? Is it a natural wonder, or is it something more? Share your theories in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on this incredible cosmic story as it unfolds, make sure you're subscribed. The universe has sent us a riddle and the search for the answer has just begun.